One of the sites where 10 of the 18 victims of the Lewiston mass shooting were killed is getting a new purpose. Bonnie Bishop tells us what the future holds for the former Schmengi's Bar and Grill nearly a year after that shooting. This building was one of two devastating scenes during the October shooting. Now, nearly a year later, the former Schmengi's Bar and Grill will be used to help others. It's the start of an expansion that Caden's Kitchen has wanted to do for years. You know, we, we kind of feel like, you know, this is one of those, you know, triumph through tragedy moments. The center has served as a resource for the Lewiston community since 2018, serving roughly 150 to 200 people a month. But their new center holds the weight and grief of last year's tragedy. And we knew that this location was kind of, you know, unused and, and kind of had that, that negative stigma attached to it due to the tragedy from, you know, previous events. And we really wanted to kind of use it as a revitalization opportunity, um, kind of bring the community together. President of Cadence Kitchen, Kevin Bollard says, they're hoping to find a way to honor the victims of the shooting. So we want to try to create some type of memory or, or uh, you know, tribute to the individuals. Um, but at the same time, we want to make sure that we do it in a respectful manner to everybody. The center will provide several services to support the homeless population, including a food pantry and community clothing closet. Just in time recreation, the other scene from the Lewiston mass shooting reopened its doors back in May. Caden's Kitchen has just over a month to get the supplies that they need and move in. This new emergency warming shelter is expected to open November 15th. In Lewiston, I'm Bonnie Bishop for Maine's Total Coverage.